Getting good and usable information about what learners are doing, seeing, and experiencing has long been a problem for us learning professionals. We have been stuck with old technologies and data for many years. SCORM certainly has its merits, but it's hardly known for producing deep and meaningful data. With SCORM itself being over 20 years old, predating smartphones, tablets, VR headsets, and many other vital learning delivery platforms of today, it just doesn't cut it anymore for modern learning ecosystems. The good news is there are so much better ways to get data from learners now. First, let's get the acronym out of the way. XAPI stands for Experience Application Programming Interface. For the proper definition, let's refer to the Advanced Distributed Learning Initiative, more commonly known as ADL, that sets the standards. XAPI is a data and interface standard that lets software applications capture and share big data on human performance along with associated context information, for example, experience data. So what does that mean in practice? And what do you do with all that data? What this means is that you can move past web-based e-learning courses, basic completion information, and simple test scores to get what learners are actually seeing, doing, and experiencing. This standard can be used anywhere your LMS, of course, but also LXPs, mobile apps, simulations, and even business software applications like CRMs, supply chain platforms, point of sale machines, and more. After all, these systems are home to experiences too. The XAPI standard relies on a simple statement to collect information about your learners using the basic following format, actor, verb, object. Some simple examples are Eric watched a video, or Eric attended a call, or Eric answered a question. Now. What can you do with this? Three main things. One, get data about and from your users. This is not just completion and data and scores, but what the users have seen, done, and are experiencing. The wealth of additional information on top of scores and completions is massive and allows you to view and use the data you have from users differently. Two, get information about your content. What is being used and by whom and when? Three, combine one and two and start making informed decisions about your users and content. This is where the real power comes in. Who is viewing content during the day or in the evening? Are they coming back to look multiple times? How long are they dwelling on certain screens or interactions? Further out, you can see what things users are excelling at, not only the learning, but in their roles and day-to-day -day tasks. The flexibility you have to view and act on data takes a massive jump forward when you move past scores and completions. There's so much more to the XAPI standard than what we are covering here, and many more examples and uses. If this information was helpful to you, please like and subscribe. And if you have specific questions, leave us a comment and maybe we can follow up in a subsequent video. To see how we view and share data and how SparkLearn does digital learning differently, visit us at sparklearn.com to schedule a demo.